And welcome to Prudent Media News. Now we'll look at the headlines. GPCC President Subhash Shirodkar takes on NCP State President Surendra Sirsat for his pre-alliance statements. Says Sirsat should refrain from putting conditions on Congress. Reasons why Padyatra skipped Walpoi, Poriye, and Taligaon. Election Commission plans to use Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter to educate voters on poll. Ganesh Poyu exits, Finance Secretary S. Kumaraswamy takes over as Chief Electoral Officer of Goa. Partner of MS Bhagwan Purushottam refutes all allegations of scam regarding travel agency tender given by the ESG, hits back at rivals for getting personal issues in business, ESG CEO says no comments. Goa Ranji team gear up to face Hyderabad, coach Vivek Kolamkar sets realistic targets of at least a win in the remaining two matches. Swapnil Asnorkar returns to squad, Jakati might miss Hyderabad tie. And Zambia demolished Goa 11-4-1 in their first tour match. Zambia coach Herve Renard unhappy with scoreline, expected 3-4 goals more. Goa coach Armando Colasso satisfied with the result. And now the news in detail. GPCC President Subhash Shirodkar has taken on the NCP President Surendra Sirsat on the coalition issue. He has advised Sirsat not to make any statement on the alliance and refrain from putting any conditions on the Congress. Many congressmen are upset as the Padayatra did not visit constituencies like Puriye, Walpoi and Taligaon. Subhash has his own explanation for skipping these constituencies. Congress party had organized Lok Samruddhi Pad Yatra in wake of Golden Jubilee year of Goa's liberation. The Yatra made its stops at most of the constituencies, but it did not station in heavyweight constituencies like Valpoi, Parie and Thaligaon. Many congressmen are upset with this. GPCC President Subhash Rodkar has ruled out hidden agenda behind the skipping. <laughs> आणि एक नंतर में जन्ना रिस्पांस लोकांसो आणि मागणी जन्नी उपाग लगली जन्ना मी जो सेकंड स्टेज जो प्लेन ड्राफ्ट केलो क्या प्लेन आउट केलो तातु आमी जो जो 32 कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंसीज योपाच थराय ले कारण का बावीस तो इम्ब्राक ही यात्रा सुपोपक जाय शिली ही फॉर्डर क्लारिफाइड दैट दी यात्रा डेज � ये दोन सामने बाजू पट्टा मत दर्शन हैं, मुन्नते दोनी मत दर्शन हैं, मैं कुशिंद बोल ले, मुझे तो ही गले ना, आने के शिवाय नंतर में केर परवरी से मत दर्शन गए, तस्चित तालिगांव से एक मत दर्शन, नंतर में के तालिगांव, कारण तालिगांव जन ना मैं सकाय चे शुरू के नजर जाए, दर तालिगांव का रोल he also denied to comment anything on the dates of assembly election. He reacted to Surendra Sirsat's statement on coalition and advised him not to put any conditions on the senior alliance partner. I am I am going to ask you to ask me to ask you to ask me 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 पुन तीन शेर सर्वेस शेवटी सर्वे शेवटी सर्वे तानी मानी करुँग जाए आनी त्याशुवा तांचे कहीं विचार अस्तल है सर दोनी हाई कमांड ने चेव नीति बस रिश्वाये ताजी निर्णय दाऊ शक्ना आ रिपोर्टर इन शिरोड़ा विवेक प्रभु इलेक्शन कमिशन ऑफ इंडिया इस ऑल सेट टू यूज़ सोशल मीडिया सच एस फेसबुक Election Commission feels integration of citizens with the electoral process is possible through social media. Meanwhile, there has been a change in guard of Chief Electoral Officer in Goa Finance Secretary S. Kumaraswamy is taking over the additional charge as the new Chief Electoral Officer in the state, 
from Ganesh Koyu. For the first time, Election Commission of India is all set to use social media during assembly polls in Goa, Punjab, Uttar Pradesh, Uttarakhand, and Manipur. Election Commission of India has found social media such as Facebook, Twitter, YouTube as a powerful tool to educate people, especially the youth, about elections. Recently, Election Commission of India held a workshop on social media. Officials from Goa also took part in this workshop. The workshop discussed modalities of Election Commission of India's engagement with internet-based social media like Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, blogs, etc., which is to commence very soon. The press release further says that the workshop concluded that Election Commission of India should start engaging with all citizens and voters through social media at the earliest. It can be noted that social media has become very powerful in India and Goa as millions of youth have joined various sites. However, there is a big change in the office of Chief Electoral Office in Goa that will look over state assembly elections. Finance Secretary S. Kumaraswamy is taking over the additional charge as the new Chief Electoral Officer from Ganesh Koyu. Ganesh Koyu has been posted to Arunachal Pradesh. Order with this regards has been issued and S. Kumaraswamy will take over the charge on Monday. A senior reporter from Panji, Rakesh Kandolkar. Partner of MS Purushottam Bhagwan and Associates Nilesh Shah claimed that their rival travel agency is getting personal and professional trade and maligning their name unnecessarily. PSB's Nilesh Shah has cleared that if his travel agency tender was awarded to them by ESG after satisfying all the queries of other bidders and fulfilling all the criteria of the tender process. However, ESG CEO Manoj Srivastava has refused to comment on the whole issue. Documents had revealed that ESG flouted its own terms and conditions in the travel agency tender while awarding it to a particular party. Messrs. Purushottam Bhagwan and Associates has refuted all the allegations and has hit hard at their rival travel agency for spreading rumours against them. Nilesh Shah, partner of the PSB, has come out clear on the whole tender process. No, it, this is absolutely wrong. Uh, just to check that all the correct procedures was followed by ESG before awarding us a tender. Mm -hmm. And uh, as we were the highest bidder, we have got the tender. Uh, just for information, the, uh, the person who did not get the tender to utter with the business rivalry and personal rivalry, he is uh, uh, removing the, uh, coming out with the wrong rumours. Uh, just for information, the, when tenders was technical bid was opened, the objections were raised uh, by the rivals were on three counts. And all three counts, uh, we were asked for clarifications mm. uh, by ESG. And they, after satisfying the, on those clarifications only, the financial bid was open. On the uh, presence of uh, both the part of, uh, with the rival parties, and uh, as we had offered the highest discount, we got it. Nilesh Shah also cleared on how their travel agency could afford to give a huge percentage of discount to the ESG. The discount what we have been offering, that is, you know, it is on the basic fair. And just for information, that is our, uh, we are leaders in the market in Goa for the last 15-18 years. And because of our volumes, we get added incentive and this is all our uh, business acumen, how we are managing the thing. And if you go through proper tender of this thing, there are, uh, there are man, uh, on all the airlines, you don't have to give them discounts. Mm -hmm. There are certain airlines where the ESGs are direct uh, deals, to be just namely to be precise, Kingfisher and Qatar Airways, which is mentioned in everything in the tender. It's not that uh, everything is in black and white and it is just for sheer. Uh, for business rivalry and personal rivalry, that is a uh, bad part of it that is coming in. Nilesh Shah has a question for the complainant. A person who is, who is for pressing the rumor, rumors, his legal front is very bad, way it looks like. Because if he has not awarded tender, he should have gone to the court, which he has not gone. And he is trying to go through media, uh, with uh, different uh, media, with print and uh, um, uh, uh, other media, to uh, uh, defame our name, which is absolutely not correct. And uh, just for information, uh, once again I would like to reiterate and come and say to you that all procedures were followed and at any given time, when even the financial bid was open, the person concern was also present. When we contacted ESG CEO Manoj Srivastav, he refused to comment on this issue. Bureau report Prudent Media. It's time now for a short break. Stay tuned. <laughs>